gonna keep it low now If you wanna go, let's go Let's wrap it up and hit the road Cause Are getting ready to go on another camping adventure this one is going to be a week-long trip and it's up by Montrose it's at Ridgeway State Park so we are just getting ready to hit the road we've got the camper all loaded up all right we're getting ready to pull out a couple things I want to show you on the camper before we do we have our Camp David logo put on the side of our camper we're so excited about this and we actually have one on the back of the camper too so we are all geared up, ready to go. Lou's getting ready to pull her out of the building and we'll be off. yesterday and once we got settled we were just busy catching up with friends because we were actually camping with a large group of people they are all people that live in our neighborhood or live close by to us and they've become really good friends and their church that they all go to has this huge camp out um, at Ridgeway State Park so they very kindly invited us and we we're excited to spend this time with fellowship with them but once we got in, we were just catching up with him and I forgot to pick up the camera to show you guys where we're at. So we are all set up. We've got mobile Camp David ready to go. We're cooking breakfast this morning, getting ready to call the kids in. They're out running around with friends. And then 
hopefully this afternoon we're gonna do a couple activities and I think tonight we're gonna go pick up some UTVs and tomorrow go off-roading so we have lots of fun plans all ready to go but let me show you where we're at so Luke and I are just out here fixing breakfast. We have our outdoor kitchen here and here. This is like the griddle and this is the um, stove top. And I'm making scrambled eggs over there. Luke's tending to them while I vlog. And then he just made bacon on the griddle. And we're pulled into our spot. Um, it's a really nice spot. We're only here for two nights because this is all we could get for this spot right here. And then we're gonna move down to a different camp area. It's the same camping um, ground, yeah. but where Luke's been grilling, he's got yeah. his. <laughs> we have, I'm gonna put Papa's kitchen to shame here. <laughs> so over here we have our griddle, like Jill said, we have our stove here. So we're doing the eggs here. These are farm fresh eggs from Camp David. Yep. Only the best. By Camp David Chickens. Yep. And then over here we have a selection of grilled meats that are from our locker plant. So our, my family's locker Jill's, plant. Jill's yeah. cousin's locker plant. So. so all locally used food when we're cooking. So it's good. Good stuff. Um, we know where our food came look from. At these, look at these eggs. Look at all the different <laughs> Well, they're kind of dirty. <laughs> yeah, they're dirty, but look at all the different colors of eggs here. Because when you do farm fresh eggs, you go take them out of the nesting box. Don't wash them and don't put them in the refrigerator. You can store them on the counter if you don't wash them because they have a natural um, preservative on them when the chickens lay them. And so all you do is before you use them in a recipe or anything is it's like fruit or vegetables. You wash them off in the sink really quick. But if you don't wash them once you pull them out of the nesting box, you can just keep them and store them on your counter and they preserve. I was talking to somebody who's from England and they said that's how we always have our eggs is out on the <laughs> counter. And I think it's because they get eggs that aren't washed. But um, I found that very interesting that in some countries they don't, uh, they don't buy uh, eggs from the store that are washed. So they can just set them out and they last longer. Yeah, they do. They and it saves room in your fridge. These eggs are almost done. We've got to call the kids. Okay. So this is behind the camper. They have a little walk up that goes to um, your table where you can eat, which we're gonna get ready to have the kids. And then we've got a fire pit here. And you also have a tent. This is called a tent pad. And so if you had a tent that you were bringing in, this is a nice level area that you can pitch your tent. And you can kind of see our rig through the trees there, but it's a beautiful area. We love it. We're by Ure, Colorado, a little bit outside of Montrose. We're just getting ready to feed the army of kids <laughs> that we have. The kids are running around having fun. Here they come. They've been running around with their friends. Hi guys. Hi. This is... <laughs> Lexi. Um, She's been mentioned on our vlog before. Yes, you've seen them on our vlog before, um, the mock trial one. But Lexi is the daughter of very good friends of ours. They're pretty much family. You guys can hear the dogs barking in the background. <laughs> you guys ready to eat? Yeah. Yes. Okay, we'll get you some plates. before you're on camera? Yes. <laughs> so yeah, they all freeze when I come over here. <laughs> all right guys, we're standing outside my camper and there's a whole group of kids in there. And they're singing. We finished breakfast, got cleaned up from that, and we are headed down to the reservoir that is here at Ridgeway State Park. Um, we got a couple of fun water toys for the kids for this trip. We got two inflatable paddle boards and one inflatable kayak that seats two people. Luke has worked so hard this morning getting all these things inflated and now they're in the back of our truck. And I am completely out of breath. 
from blowing those things up. <laughs> he turned red. Dad joke. He used an air compressor. Um, wasn't easy. <laughs> it still wasn't easy. So that is where we're headed with the group and the kids. You can't really see them in the back here. Lincoln's got the life vest, the cooler. They all have something on their laps. We are packed full for an afternoon of fun at the reservoir. The views are absolutely gorgeous. So this is what you see on the way down to the reservoir, which is right down there. So here we are. Jill cooked dinner tonight and look at this. This is her famous, what's it called? Coconut curry barbecue chicken. And it is so good. It has this like curry coconut sauce on it and we're grilling it on our little grill, which we love. But we just love our campsite. This is a really cool place. Um, we have our friends staying here. Um, they live just around the block from us at home. And um, we're good friends with them, so they, they got their camper there. And then our other friends are right down there. And then our other friends are right here. So we're like surrounded by all of our good friends on this camping trip, which is a first for us. We've never gone camping with so many different uh, people at once, like a big caravan. So it's pretty fun. Um, and this setup is good. The only downside on this particular spot was I've never ever had to have the front end so high um, to get it level. And that's just because of how steep the slope is on this drive. But um, it worked, it was just kind of hard to do. Um, and a little nerve wracking being on this big of a slope, but it worked and we're gonna move to a new site um, shortly. Dinner's ready. The kids had all their friends over and are doing a little bit of a bonfire with roasted marshmallows. They're having fun. And we're gonna do the craziest thing we've ever done. Oh my gosh. Uh, camping, which it's kind of hard to explain, but tomorrow we're supposed to leave early in the morning and go on a UTV ride with our friends. The problem is we're also supposed to switch campsites tomorrow, which means we have nowhere, like we have nowhere to put our camper during the day. Oh, our other spot comes open. So. We could have parked down at like a parking lot, but then the dogs would have been there and we didn't feel good about that. So yeah. there's some great folks who are in the campground who are part of the group that we're with mm -hmm. and they have a tent only on a camp on a campsite, just tents. And so we are going to actually go um, 
put our camper on their site just for tonight so that we have a place. Anyway, that's the plan. But that means we have to move again tomorrow. So we're gonna move once tonight and then once again tomorrow night. But it'll be quick and easy moves. Yeah. Okay, this is day three of our camping adventure. We had some great time at the reservoir. <laughs> now I can't talk. Now you can't say reservoir. It's the reservoir. <laughs> the reservoir. It's reservoir. It's reservoir. It's this is what happens. I try and talk to everyone and then they make fun of how I pronounce <laughs> words. Reservoir. And then I can't talk the rest of the time. So we were we were having fun at the lake. Yes. The and big body of water. <laughs> the large body of water. Not big enough to be a lake, but not small enough to be a pond. So there, I'm just gonna leave it at that. We are now headed out this, uh, this morning to go, is it UTVing? Is that the yes. correct term? Yep, off-roading. Off-roading um, on Ironton Trail. And we're gonna spend the day doing that. I have packed sandwiches and goodies and snacks for the kids and Luke and I, and we're just gonna have a great time on the UTVs and hopefully get you guys some good footage of what the mountains are looking like in this part of the state. Here we go. I'm gonna try to take the the uh, off-road vehicle, the uh, UTV, as close to the edge of the cliff as I possibly no, can. No, let's yeah. not. So that we get a lot of scared, <laughs> screaming people. <laughs> gorgeous up here. Um, this is up past Ore, Colorado, and we are getting ready to go do some off-roading. Should be fun time. All right, we are all ready to go off-roading. We have a big group of people with us. some pictures but guys this view is like no other Yeah, it's cool. What views we have. 
What do you think, fam? It's There's some beautiful. snow there, too. Yeah. Are you cold, Lincoln? <laughs> Lincoln gets cold easily. <laughs> it is very cold up here. It's a so we're at like 12,500 feet, and I think at the top of that is probably 14-ish. Photo bomb. Hey, everybody. This is the best family right here. Come on no, up. No. It's amazing. <laughs> this has been a great family experience. We're enjoying it. Uh, we're having a really good time, and I would definitely say that this trip is going to be um, one that we try and maybe do annually. So if you guys get the chance to come up to Ore or Ure, if people say it differently, Colorado, please do that. We're camping right outside of Montrose as well. Um, it's been so much fun. We're not done yet. We have a few more days here, but today's adventure, we're not even halfway through it and um, it's just amazing to be able to see these views I mean the lake right here is just I just can't believe it lunch and um, I wanted to point out to you guys the mountains in the back these are the San Juan mountains and it is another mountain range that goes through Colorado and they are absolutely gorgeous so I highly recommend if you guys ever get a chance to get up in this part to definitely see the San Juan mountains so we're gonna check out this little town I'm loving my views behind me it's I keep saying it guys it's been a blast today so the place where we stopped is called animus forks and you just see these old buildings right here in this valley you can kind of see the old mine over here but it's just in the valley of all these mountains so we're gonna kind of walk up here and check them out I just love the history that is with this I just can't imagine what it would have been like to be here when these people first settled here and of course they were of course looking for gold but it would just be amazing to have lived in that time here Kenya and Lincoln are up here at this little cabin hi guys <laughs> it's a little scary walking in here it's amazing Here's the bathroom. It goes all the way back, Mom. There's like five rooms. Yeah, this is actually pretty good size. But this is... <laughs> Here you go, guys. This is how they did it way back then. I just can't believe that these things are still standing here. We're going to head up here. I just cannot imagine how hard this would have been just to build this clear up at this elevation. And there you have the San Juan mountain range. <laughs> we got another building. They didn't need much. Nope. But it's got dirt floors in this one. Kenya and Lincoln are headed down to check out that house. That's where I'm headed right now. All right, the house that we're about ready to go into, this is more information on it. It's the William Duncan house. And um, this one actually retains many of its original historic architectural features, including decorative trim and siding. Um, and it just also talks about the challenges of living above 11,000 feet. They definitely had a beautiful view on their front porch. Gorgeous windows. So this is the main floor of the house. So we're gonna go check out the upstairs here. And here's one room, pretty small room. It comes right into here. They even have some brick, which is where the chimney is. So these stairs are super steep. Yeah, they are. Um, don't hit your head on this. That was okay. Mess for me. Hope you enjoyed that tour. And from what I'm hearing, it's time for us to get back on the road with the ATVs. So Luke's all ready to go, and we're getting ready to pull out. All right, we made it. 
This is called Odom Point, and it is beautiful. What do you think? This is insane. Like, it feels like this is the highest I've been. I've been on a 14er before, but this feels higher. We're only about 13,000 feet right now, but you can see past that ridge. It's probably hard in the camera, but it just goes flat way out there. We're probably seeing hundreds of miles. And all the different layers in there. Yeah. Yeah.